after repeatedly dodging questions about whether he would sign a national abortion ban if reelected, Donald Trump unveiled his thoughts this morning on the issue. In a four and a half minute video posted on Truth Social, the former president said he supports IVF treatments. Well, that's nice. Once again, he said he is proud to have ended Roe v. Wade and said the issue should be left to individual states. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Taking some breathing exercises here, and I'm going to go to Jen Paul Mary and just say, many people say that's why a lot of voters will go Democrat on Election Day because of what he did to women's health. He, uh, he made the overturning of Roe v. Wade possible. He is proud to do that. He has very proud. He's very proud. He's endangered the health of millions of women um, in doing so. And in saying that, he, that the states to decide, should decide, he's embracing the most extreme bans, which is the six-week bans that will be taking effect on May 1. Mm -hmm. And Florida and have already taken effect in other states. You know, women are lining up in emergency rooms. They're being denied critical care. Uh, doctors are not sure what they can do about IVF. Um, it is, you know, we, we, we uh, a two years on from when the decision came down, we're feeling the real impacts for women, for doctors, for med students. Um, and, you know, he is embracing the only position that he probably can, given what his record is. And I just make it, you know, I think it is going to be a hugely resonating issue with women and men both come November. I think there's no question of that. Every election since the overturning of Roe v. Wade has been decided in part uh, by abortion. We should note that the Biden campaign already has clipped that video from Trump that was on Truth Social and put out a digital campaign ad highlighting the part where Trump says he was proud to have been the one to overturn Roe v. Wade. So at least he was in a little bit of a political bind here. Trump is on the Republican side. In fact, he's already been criticized by some pro-life groups this morning saying he's not come out far enough. Where, where is your support for a national ban, which he has mused about before, but at least today didn't back. But let's be clear, this is still him supporting what some states have, their draconian measures to outlaw uh, abortion. He is touting his, that he is the ones who appointed the Supreme Court justice, who overdid what had been set law. Um, this is not going to be an issue he can outrun. It, it's, and, it's, it's a, and the Biden campaign is going to look to capitalize. I'm surprised that he actually jumped into the fray because I did think that he was going to try to just keep avoiding, avoiding, avoiding and saying, making vague statements and not really giving that much to be pinned down on. So in that sense, I'm surprised that he, you know, made went was proactive and went forward on this. He knows it is his worst issue coming up in 2024. Just like Democrats know that immigration is their worst issue and something that voters are upset about, this is something that motivates the Democrat, Democratic women, suburban women, that Democrats need to win. Yeah, and, and you know, Elise, the thing is he's, he's in the middle here uh, as far as he's gonna be uh, picked apart now by uh, both sides and um, his position though, by adopting the Florida uh, ban, the six week ban and all the other bans out there that are draconian, such an extreme position. And it's, an, it's a, a no win situation for him if he doesn't come out with what other Republicans were talking about, like a 15 week uh, ban. Something like that. But but again, he's he's taken the extreme position and just talk about I go, I go back to you because we always talk about that focus group you did in Atlanta, even with the most extreme Trumpers, men saying not my business. And I suspect it's going to be that way in Atlanta and Philadelphia and in suburbs of Charlotte, suburbs of Milwaukee, suburbs of Detroit. 
I mean, suburbs of Philly, just devastating. You know, there are some prominent strategists who believe that the election is going to come down to what they're calling Dobbs dads, those conservative men who are infuriated about the government restrictions on the health care that women in their lives can have uh, administered, that the government has gotten so involved in basic women's health care. So those are the those are voters that Biden needs to keep. They tend to lean a little more conservative and they cross over and they were voting Republican. And so if this continues to be an issue that is at the forefront, that's a good thing for Democrats. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.